So these just came in the mail. I wonder if, um, let's see what Liam thinks these are. Let's take them out of the bag. Wow, they're really soft. Here, Liam, hold these. What do you think that is? Looks like carpet. It's carpet! It really is carpet? It's not carpet. Kind of carpet. How about this one? What do you think this one is? More carpet. Oh, check out the back. Oh. Wow. Those. What is it? Those are for the fish tank. Oh, I never guessed that. Yeah. These are for the fish tank. Let's see if the rainbow fish will lay, lay eggs on it. They're kind of big. Can I cut this? How is this on here? I think I can cut down one of these strips. What color would you put in your rainbow tank? I'd probably do a little piece of both. Because if you saw my other video, oh, look how tiny that guy is. Oh, uh, you know, you can't focus on these guys. They're so, they're too small. That guy's really small. Anyway, these guys are putting out one or two babies a week. I have a few shrimp in here with the rainbows. Is that one buried? I think they came in as chocolate shrimp. Remove that wood and then put the two pieces of uh, carpet over here. But I might not even need it because this is what their tank looks like. I guess they're laying their eggs somewhere in all the java moss. What do I have in here? Java fern, or java moss. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Can anybody tell me? This is in a. Is that a. I don't know what that is. Post in the comments below, please. Or I'd like, like to know what that is. I think because I have all the moss in here, the rainbow fish have just been laying eggs in here. But let's see if that carpet helps. Let's go cut some of that up. So I just cut some. And then I had to take off all these little loose pieces. The green is bigger, because I think they might like the green better. I'm gonna put some blue in the tank anyway. Hey, I don't know if this is gonna sink or not. I'm gonna go put it in some water and let's see what happens. So we have a little problem. They float. So we're gonna let it soak. Maybe I can. Maybe there are some air bubbles in here I can squeeze out. I know there's some air in there. Maybe I should have used warm water. Anyway, so let's check back in an hour. I actually squeezed a lot of air bubbles out of them. Now I have um. A little weight holding it, holding them down. What I'll do if it still floats is put a rock on each one. So after an hour, they still floated, but I got tired of waiting. So I put them in the tank, put a little pebbles on there, and here they are. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, I got the water all stirred up. Do you think the uh, rainbow fish in here will use them? Or they just keep using the uh, Java moss back there. I don't know. I wanted to try them out. Post in your comments. What do you think of these? Will they work? Do you think this is long enough? You look, they're about inch and a half, two inches. We'll leave this in here for a month or so. Let's just see what happens. I could also, this has a sand substrate. I could probably sprinkle some sand on here. I might do that. Let's see how that works. I have some new sand. Let me go, let's see if that works. Okay, here's my sand idea. Sprinkle a little sand on here. And then just fluff it back up. I think this is working okay. Now I'll post it in your comments below. What do you think? Oh, hey, one of those. Let's clear that up. All right, that works. Now post, post below. Give me a, post a thumbs up if you think this will work. If they'll lay eggs on it, post a thumbs down if you think this is a waste of time. Check out that little tiny baby right there. I'm gonna try to get baby footage here. But it's, it's, they're so little. So, well you can see the blue eyes though. And they're hard to focus on. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe. Appreciate your support. Keep watching for my next fish and shrimp videos.